Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for today's Monday Mystery Reveal, this is where I would normally unbox or in this particular case, unbag a figure that um, I've just recently added to my collection. So rather than me just opening it up, um, I like to turn it into a bit of a guessing game and give you guys the opportunity to guess uh, what new figure I've added to my collection. So you already know uh, from the thumbnail and from the title that um, it is a sealed Generation 2 figure. Um, however, this Generation 2 figure was, of course, well, lots of them, not all of them, were originally Generation 1 figures beforehand. This particular figure or mould uh, originated in 1986 to my knowledge and um, that's the first time we saw him in generation one um, he's had quite a lot of reissues to be fair he's managed to span quite a few different unis universes um, I'm pretty sure as well that they even had a version of him in Revenge of the Fallen um, because him and a few other of his teammates um, are quite popular so that's pretty much given that away as well so yes yeah, so he is a member um of a combining team so as i say 1986 so originally scramble city the generation 2 version is exactly the same mold just a completely different color scheme this version though doesn't suffer <clears throat> from the um the gold plastic syndrome which should have give you should perhaps give you the team now um the yeah he's one of the first he was always seemed to pitted to fight against sort of men him and his teammates were always sort of pitted to go against um menasaur um it's quite hard to give clues for this because obviously he's one of a team member um however we are strongly i was going to say i think we know pretty much that we're getting a new version of this guy in the next two years as part of the age of the primes um, he did have a version in Combiner Wars. He was lucky enough to keep his own name as well. So um, one of the team members obviously changed his name and was pretty much replaced. Well, it's not him. Um, this one, though, is apart from the I think the easiest clue that I can give you because it's quite difficult is obviously that there is a few different color schemes. His original color scheme uh, was the red one. Um, and yeah, he actually had, unlike the others, he had a special mail away version of himself in the uk with weetabix whereas none of the other team members did um and i'm really struggling for clues now uh but a huge thank you uh to simon uk collector because that's where this came from this was part of a trade by the way guys so um this is something else i recommend strongly to do if you're looking to either maybe not downsize your collection because you're just swapping but if you're looking to as i use the term recycle so yesterday i did a lot of selling to buy some new stuff in this case as well i did a trade so you know there might be something on your shelf that you're not particularly fond of anymore or you want something new i always recommend going to the buy sell trade groups on facebook or indeed we've got it going on in our discord as well where you can do things exactly like this so this is it's in great nick it doesn't mean i'm going to start to collect them all sealed but i think i've got a couple anyway now but i definitely now need to do an updated version of this particular figure i think i'll do g1 and g2 together and it is g2 firefly so he's still predominantly red um just different uh stickers i suppose it is mainly in it but there you go guys so if you got it or if you know it please don't put his name in your um, answers or in your comments, just put the time that you got it or you put your own guesses, that's absolutely fine. Uh, but there you go, that's been added to the collection and I'll put it in the huge, huge backup list of all the videos I've got to catch up with. Hope you enjoy this, take care.